Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sab, if you're new. We're playing Legacy today. I'm excited because I got my reshades working again and everything looks really pretty. I don't really have much to update you guys on today. I have a coffee, it's my second coffee of the day. I just felt like I really needed it. But yeah, let's just get right into it, shall we? Thank you so much for being here. I love you, let's go. So I uh, have this reshade on right now. This one's called, this one's the one by Miss Lollipop. Um, I think it's called Serenity. And then the Dove 2.0 is the one that I normally use. Yeah, wow. I don't know which one I like better. They're both gorgeous. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe we should try something different for this episode. See how I like it. It's just less, um, it's less like red but it still has really nice contrast and saturation and clarity and all that good stuff. <laughs> anyway, so here we are back in the Legacy family. Look at the calendar. There isn't really much to, much to do. Meet a celebrity football team sports day, July 4th, neighborhood brawl. I'm gonna delete that. <laughs> I hate that holiday. Uh, are there any other holidays that I wanna like delete i don't think so i don't know when talk like a pirate day is but i would love to delete that as well the freaking poop dude i don't understand why dolly keeps pooping in the house outstanding wow um yeah i know that you can lock the door for the horse oh my god there's more poop right here i know that you can lock the door for the horse but it's like it's kind of just a part of this family now who's <laughs> having the horse in the house oh i just had an idea what if we had Sarah wish for love at the wishing well? That can be her one wish. I kind of want to try it, but oh my God, it's so scary and so risky. I remember the one time that we did it. I can't remember what challenge it was, but we ended up getting an elder. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that, but a couple of you guys were on board with the science baby. Maybe we can ask like someone that we're close with if they want to like have one with us as friends because like i would love to have a science baby with just sarah she's absolutely beautiful but i love mixing in like i get, i love getting other like genes in the mix you know oh man uh, maybe uh maybe i'll just like take a break from yeah. dating <laughs> and all that stuff for now and just kind of see what happens let's see what like pop-ups we get yeah i just want to see i want to see if anyone hits us up and is like confesses their love for us, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. We were working on nectar making for Ren. Gosh, this one's taking quite some time. Snowboarding and flower arranging. Um, also, Eloise and Edison got engaged. So we can have like a cute little elopement in this episode. I think that would be kind of fun. Like we can even do it here on the lot. And then Sarah also maxed romance in the last one, which is really exciting. She's almost maxed charisma, mischief, horse, ri horse riding. Uh, okay, cool. And we are working from home today. Discuss romantic goals with three Sims. Okay, well, we can do that with our dad. Who's calling Ren? I was wondering if I could join the vampire club. Yeah, sure, you're a vampire and you're our son. I don't see why not. <laughs> You know, you can discuss romantic goals with Eloise as well. Maybe uh, she's like, oh, you guys got engaged. Well, let's let's talk about like what you guys want out of your relationship. Gals? No, goals. Patchy. Hi, Patch. Ooh, maybe we can discuss romantic goals with Patchy too. <laughs> That's actually hilarious, but we got to do what we got to do. Oh, I also need to get her a chess table because she needs to get level five logic i don't really know why logic for that job but whatever i'm not gonna i'm not gonna question it too much to be honest because i've noticed since doing career legacy which i miss so much um i noticed that maxing logic is like so common for um jobs you have to max it for like most of the jobs. Kind of annoying. I'm doing mine in alphabetical order. So like most of the, most of the careers that are like higher up on the alphabet. <laughs> uh, yeah, they all require freaking logic to be maxed. So I've done it so many times and I can't find a better way to do it than, uh, than playing chess, so. I was wrong, I was wrong. 
soon so i am like practice hyper accelerated dragon opening what the hell <laughs> i've been obsessed with the linger cover by um what the heck by uh royal otis holy crap it has been on repeat i love that song the original by the way and having like a cover that is on par with it that's like equally as good is actually insane anyways let's go ahead and start a gathering i did see that samantha evangeline's daughter is an infant now so we should totally go over there and visit but i'd like to get her logic skill up first before we head over there yeah a lot of you guys were saying that like these sims don't find sarah attractive because they don't have any preferences uh which yeah that would make sense that would make a lot of sense hi evangeline we were gonna go to your house, but I just started a club gathering. Yeah, that would make sense though, I think. I don't know. Cause like they, all of these Sims have turn ons and turn offs when I ask them. So you, I think that's what determines if they find a Sim attractive is their turn ons and turn offs. So I don't know, I don't know. I really don't understand. Oh my God, why the hell is Stacy here? What do you want? Ask what Stacy's problem is and accuse of spying because she's here. <laughs> I can't even believe she has the the gall to show her face around here. That's honestly insane. Like no one here likes you anymore. So you really need to get out of here. Are you here to flirt with my dad? Oh, they're squaring up. Get her. Yeah, Dolly, get her. Stay away from my horse! Yeah! Snort at her. Uh -huh. The hero Ruth Bay. Skins the flu, she's the breeze. To Nova, Palma Deep. Yes, Gilbert. Mmm, money. Go away. Get out of here. Go! Beat it, nerd. No one wants you here. My horse doesn't want you here. Get out! Dude, I don't think- this girl is not understanding. Go! Not Dolly being sad because of witnessing this. Oh, poor baby. Girl, if you don't get off my lot, I swear to God, leave. Yeah, you should get going. Don't ever come back. Oh my god! Eventually just aged up into an elder! I missed it! Oh, honey. She did it just now and I was distracted because stupid Stacy! Gosh darn it. <sighs> okay, well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the club gathering so that we can go and meet her child. Oh my gosh, she's gonna die before that child is old enough to old enough to live by itself. <laughs> Hmm, this is gonna be a problem, isn't it? I guess the child should just go live with Jamie, right? That makes the most sense. I know that we're all anti-Jamie right now, but if I'm being like super realistic, the baby would go there. Unless he didn't want her. So uh, we just got a greenhouse. It's a little one. It's like seven by seven feet. Um, We just loaded it up with veggies yesterday. It was so much fun. Uh, we got tomatoes, peppers, cauliflower, lettuce, a um, bunch of herbs. I'm super stoked. It's going to be it's going to be so much fun growing, growing food and eating it and yeah, it's just going to be a, a new experience and I blame Stardew and Coral Island 100%. <laughs> Hello! What a lovely house you have. Now where's the child? This actually is a pretty house. What the Seriously? Oh my god. Whatever. You guys really can't wait. I hear her. Elope immediately. Oh my god. Not her complaining about gardening right in the middle of her wedding. And Evangeline's so sad. What a beautiful ceremony for real though. Of 
Okay. Wow. I'm sorry, guys. I wanted to have a cute ceremony, but I guess they couldn't wait. Congratulations. Why he... I swear. I, I will never understand. Okay, maybe I can, like... Oh. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known she'd be outside on the ground. Well, um, at least they're having... Is that Beef Wellington? Oh, at least they're having steak for their reception. Bro. Everyone meet the baby. This is Samantha. What? Ren! Did she just romantic introduction Eloise? Oh my god! <sighs> I hate this game, dude. Why? 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 Change relationship. Ask to be friends. I, do I don't need that. And Edison just doesn't even care. Good grief. Anyways, so the baby's redheaded. She's got brown eyes. Oh, she's got Evangeline's eyes and Jamie's hair. This, this, this story just breaks my heart. This poor child and poor Evangeline. I just feel so bad. Also, um, you guys were asking, let's see. How do you, how do we find out about Evangeline's? You know what? I'm just going to go into cast really quick with her. Um... I want to give her some elder outfits and I also want to look at Samantha a little bit closer and I want to look at her boundaries. You want me to look at like the things that trigger her jealousy. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, romantic boundaries, excuse me. Okay. The Sims feels jealous of any romantic partner. Yeah, so it's yes, yes, yes all across the board. So, yeah. All right. Dang it, I forgot to put my eyelashes back in my game as, as well. That's okay. Okay, uh, swimwear. Take the glasses off. Let's match your brows to your hair. Okay. Huh? Huh? All right, and then hot weather. Let's do something different for this one. Griffoba. Griffoba. So many elders in my game right now. Oh, that's cute. I love that. Okay, and then cold weather. Oh. She's had this cold weather outfit forever. Give her something else. Uh, Ooh, that's cute. Oh, I love it with the boots. Okay, yep. Slay, slay, slay. Super cute. Okay, um... And then the baby. Hello. She is calm. Look at how precious. Oh, man. So cute. All right, Samantha. Well, I can't wait to see... How you grow up and what your traits are you're so so beautiful um so there is let's do the math here okay so normal 14 no way hold on a second normal lifespan you're an elder for 14 days you're an infant for five wait a newborn for one an infant for five okay i think she just aged up into an infant so Five, toddler seven, that's 12. Child 14, that's 26. Yeah, we're already, we're already way over um, the, the days as an elder. So yeah, uh, shoot. I hope that like she automatically gets sent to Jamie's house once uh, Evangeline passes away. I don't know if the game does it like that. And also, I don't know when Jamie ages up into an elder. So if the baby lives with him and Stacy and Jamie passes away, she'll be with Stacy. Mm -mm. No way, I'm not gonna allow that. <laughs> I can't believe y'all went and got married without my permission. How dare you? I guess they couldn't wait. Well, I mean, I think you guys got a woohoo. I know it's risky, but oh my God, he's gonna go chat again. Bro, you guys just got married. You need to show her some attention. I'm gonna delete your computer. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't tempt me. Be careful, guys. Don't overexert yourself, okay? What's she off to do? Blog manifestations of love. You poor thing. <laughs> oh, honey, I feel so bad for you. She really wants to be in love, you guys. Aw. 
My poor girl. What are you gonna do, Ren? I don't trust you. Okay, they actually are just chatting. I have an idea. So, Sarah wants a science baby, right? She just wants a baby in general. I wish that we could like, like, get a sperm donor, quote unquote, but we can't really do that. So I was thinking like maybe we could like go on a blind date, right? But instead of it being a blind date, it could be like meeting potential sperm donors. Like whoever's traits we like the best and whoever's genes we like the best, Sarah can be like, okay, yeah, I wanna have a science baby with you. Nothing romantic, purely like transactional, I suppose. Just like finding someone else to ha have a baby with without there being any romance involved, you know? And like Sarah could pay them. Does that make sense? I think that would be kind of cool. She has the observant trait, so I think we should give that a shot because I want to have a baby in this episode. <sighs> um, so let's see what happens when we go on a blind date. Let's see who we get. I don't know, maybe Ren just suggested that to her right now. Like I, oh, I know this website where you can like get a sperm donor if you're trying to have a baby. <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe they can just like come to the house. This vineyard looks nice. Let's just go there. I guess it doesn't really matter where we go. All right, who do we got? Lila Tur Ture. Lila Ture. Hello, Lila. How are you doing? Friendly introduction. Wait, is it friendly? No, we need to do um polite intro. What? We don't know polite introduction. Okay, that's fine. Friendly introduction it is. Hello. Nice to meet you. Maker, <laughs> child of the ocean, and high maintenance. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan. Wow, this lot's really pretty. This would have been a nice spot to have the elopement. Okay, it was nice to meet you. Thank you. Uh, I'll let you know. I'll let you know if uh, <laughs> if I want to proceed. Thanks for meeting with me. Okay, is this an elder? Jacob, why the hell? Why are you giving me elders? Does it not? Take into consideration my preferences on Cupid's Corner? I swear. The blind date thing is so just, it doesn't make any sense. Are you freaking kidding me? You're giving me the same person two times in a row? No. No, no, no. Holy crap, it's the same guy. And why do they keep throwing me on dates with this dude? We have negative relationship. <laughs> There's gotta be more Sims in the world than that. Come on. I'm about to install the Sim to dating app again because this is just ridiculous. All right, who's this? This is Dana Ma Mata and we have negative relationships, relations with him too. How did that happen? Anywho, what are your traits, my good sir? I'm curious. <laughs> dag, dag. Family oriented, neat and adventurous. <laughs> Wow, those are some good traits. We would only get points for adventurous though, because we've already had a family oriented spouse. Wait, we've never had a neat spouse either. My sim self was neat, but that doesn't count. Okay, I really like him. I think that he would be, he's a good candidate. Uh, we also have good compatibility with him. So that's great. Let's do a couple more though, before we decide. Nice to meet you, thank you for coming. No way! Stop giving me Jacob. I don't want to have a baby with Jacob. Thank you very much. Again? I'm about to delete him, guys. I'm about to straight up delete him. Well, that wasn't a complete disaster. Well, I'm glad to see that Edison and Eloise are still alive. <laughs> All right, let's head to bed, Sarah. Let's get some rest, I'm so sorry. She's probably so exhausted from all this dating. I would be, holy crap. Yeah, it wasn't a complete loss though. I think that, um, what was his name? Is it Dana? Neat, adventurous, and family oriented. Those are really good traits. What were Sarah's main traits again? Creative, paranoid, and dance machine, right? She got bro and adventurous and love bug. Those were her additional traits. Yes, okay. Well, the chance of the child being advent adventurous is very high. Yay, Sarah got promoted again. 
to qualified relationship professional. Wow, that was actually quite fast. Um, so she makes $275 an hour now. And who's calling Eloise? Congratulations on getting married. Thanks, Emmett. And then, yes, we're just gonna work from home. We're just gonna keep keep riding that train. But congratulations, Sarah. I'm so happy for you. We are level nine now. The next promotion we're going to get is licensed clinical romance counselor. Wow. A professional relationship therapist who helps couples manage the ups and downs of their romantic lives by offering tailored advice and solutions. All right. She needs to reach level six logic and give relationship advice to a sim. Easy enough. Oh my God. What the heck? Sarah had a nightmare. They were being a they were a contestant on a reality TV show being criticized by a demanding judge with a nice mustache. Eek. What the heck? This is my first time ever getting a pop-up of an adult having a nightmare. <laughs> That's interesting. Anyways, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. She's off to go have some eggs and toast. Eggs and toast. Ah, I love eggs and toast. Looks like my place doesn't need your services. Yep, yep, yep. Take the day off, it's raining. Should probably tell the same thing to the ranch and the gardener, but hey. All right, well, let's pop open Cupid's Corner and see what we got today. Available in four hours. Okay, that's fine. You can eat your breakfast. Oh, hi, Dolly. What are they thinking about from Paranoid Trait? Oh, I wonder if it's because she's paranoid that she ha is having nightmares. What a beautiful rainy day. I wish it was raining here right now. I just love the rain. I feel like it doesn't rain enough. Hi, Dad. Just making some pancakes. How are you? I feel like there's so many things that I want to do with Sarah, but I don't have enough time to do it. Y'all ever feel that way with your Sims? Okay. Anna, green fiend and generous. Cute. Uh, Gardo, party animal genius. Sandra, self-assured and childish. Okay. Lyle, straight edge and non-committal. Wow. <laughs> Olivia, socially awkward and unflirty. Oh, wow. Um, lazy and loves the outdoors. Loner, perfectionist. Ariana, wait, that's Casey's sister. Okay. Well, um, okay. Well, let's just go on a blind date. Oh, let's see. Culinary career? No, thank you. Maybe we should ask the ranch hand if he wants to have a baby. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine? Okay. This is Osvaldo Fires. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Friendly introduction. Who's this? Daniela Duran. <laughs> dag, dag. Dag, dag. Paranoid snob and evil. Hard pass, miss me with that shit. Oh my God, who's this? Cameron Campos. Hello, Cameron Campos. I knew it was a Campos even before I freaking looked at his name, dude. I knew it. Yeah, ending that date, so sorry. Better luck next time. Oh man. Bro, stop. She's family. I'm not trying to go on a blind date with someone with the last name as me. Who's this? Was this the bartender from yesterday? Dude, it totally is. I guess there's no harm in learning your traits. ADHD, slob, and freegan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even funny. It's not even funny anymore. It's really not. Dude! I've had enough. I've had enough. Where's that guy? You. Get over here. See if he even wants to have a science baby with us. I'm gonna force him. I'm gonna force him. I'm afraid there's no if ands, or buts about it. We are having a child. What a cute little bar. Make mimosa. Um, okay, go off, queen. All right, well, Spino? I like your traits. I like your genes. I think that you would make a great donor. So let's see if we can even have this baby. Um, have a science baby with Dana. Earned a raise, let's go. Oh, who just got pregnant? Avery Kalani, nice, nice, congrats. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. I'll wire you the money. Goodbye. <laughs> Yay, our first baby. I can't wait. Oh my God, this is such an awkward spot to have it. Whoa, we got a floating head over here. It's a boy. Oh my God, this is the air. Holy crap! <laughs> I haven't even
haven't even thought of names. Oh my god, okay. Um, crap, I haven't even thought of a name. Let's see. I feel like I haven't thought of a name for an heir in, for an heir, uh, in so long just because we didn't even name Sarah. Sarah has been like all about love and relationships and she's also a little bit country. Oh man. I think Amore is a pretty name, but it kind of sounds more like a girl's name. Valentine would be kind of cool. Who's the god of love? Eros? Cupid. Hmm. Let's see. Eros, the Greek god of love and sex, who was often depicted as a winged boy with a bow and arrow. In some accounts, he was the son of Aphrodite, the goddess of love and fertility. In others, he was the son of Chaos, the original emptiness of the universe. In art, Eros is sometimes portrayed as a puddo, a winged and chubby boy. Cupid, the Roman god of love, who is counterpart to Eros. He is the son of Venus, the goddess of love, and Mercury. The winged messenger of the gods, Cupid is often depicted as a winged infant carrying bows and arrows. I kind of like the name Eros, to be honest. It's short and sweet. I really like short and sweet names. <laughs> um, it's between Eros and Cupid. Cupid would be a crazy name, wouldn't it? I think it suits this gen, though. Eros? I just realized it sounds like arrows. <laughs> All right, Eros it is. Thank God it was just one. <laughs> I don't think this is the only kid that Sarah's gonna have. I think that she's eventually gonna find love and have more kids later on. But I feel so much more like calm and relieved now that the heir is born. <laughs> Woo! Thank God. Thank God. We are we're safe. All right, Eros, welcome to the family. I need to make uh, his bedroom. It's almost Eros' birthday. Okay, the baby just got here. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, we're gonna turn Edison's old room into the nursery and his future bedroom. That is such a cute little space rug. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, and then we're gonna grab, but we need a crib. We need a changing table, some books on the wall there, a little diaper pail. Okay, we have a very uh, cute space and pirate themed bedroom. <laughs> uh, I think I wanna change the swatch of this though. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Okay, what else do we need for an infant? Oh, one of those um, play mat thingies. Man, this thing needs more swatches. Holy cannoli. Okay, let's just put it in the corner over here. All right, and then I'll give him more uh, more toys and things when, when he ages up into a, a toddler. Okay, I'm gonna put this high chair there, and then maybe we'll get another one of these for downstairs as well. All right, actually, where is the baby right now? Right here next to Sarah's bed. Okay, perfect, yeah. All right. Okay, Sarah, let's go get to know our baby, shall we? How exciting is this? Hello, my sweet child. Oh, sweet. Welcome home. Arogaba. Whoa. That was kind of scary, Sarah. Yay! A child! That is so exciting. Okay, so the baby's birthday is tomorrow. Um, so, uh... Yeah, I can't wait to give, give him his infant makeover. I can't wait to see what his trades are! Grilled plantains! Yummy! Thanks, Eloise. Alright, Ren. I think it's time to quit your job and get another one. Uh, you guys mentioned in the comments that it's the villain branch that has the secret um, 11 promotion, which is which is okay. It's fine. I don't mind. Convince boss to give bonus. Negotiate a bonus. We might as well get a bonus before we quit, right? Nice, we got one. I don't understand why the ranch hand never cleans the, the chicken coop. All right, I think that's 76 eggs. Oh my gosh. Okay, the next career that we should do for Ren is... We should do romance consultant, but the matchmaker one for her maybe? Gosh, I don't know. Doctor? Politician? 
I've never done the charity organizer branch of this career. Yeah, okay. Let's do that one. Um, and if you guys think that a different job would be better, then we can we can always switch it. Just let me know. Choose a cause to support. Click on your sim. Okay. Let's see. Pick cause. Let's do a speak for the trees. Also, this outfit. Wow, that is a choice. All right. Well, she started at level four, which is pretty good. It's July 4th today, but I really don't think that like it would really be celebrating that much just because like there's a newborn around and I would assume it's like hard <laughs> for everyone, but we can still barbecue. I also think that we've got some sparklers that we could light. Do 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 do. Let's see. What can we grill for July 4th? Hot dogs? Hamburgers? <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty American. Um, baked potatoes. I can't believe the chickens are old. Dress black hen. What? She's got a chicken hat? Hold on. When did you make that? I want a hug. Let me see this hat. <gasps> oh my goodness literally chicken in a hat the cutest thing ever ren i'm gonna need to get i need to get i need to get a screenshot of you with this chicken can you please hug it wow that is quite the shirt please hug the chicken oh my god help yeah. me i can't see dolly you're ruining it oh my god this horse always in the way Always. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm gonna need you to hug it again. I, I missed it. Hey! Did I... Was it... Ugh, I did it the wrong sim. I swear. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. I give up. Who the hell is this? Melanie Fournier. What are you doing here, Melanie? Huh. Happy July 4th. Complain. <laughs> um, I guess you can come in if you'd like. I'm just grilling up. What happened to the hamburgers? Or the baked potato? What happened to all the food? Nice, Edison. Very nice potatoes. They look great. What the? Oh, oh my god. Look at all of them. Holy cannoli. I told her to grill hot dogs. I don't know why she's doing it over here at the park, but whatever. Sweltering. Oh no. The thermostat's set to warm. That's my bad. Where even is the thermostat? Hmm. Astronaut, huh? <laughs> I would have said yes if he wasn't an elder, but he doesn't have that much long left. So Sarah has become a parent and achieved level four parenting skill. Look at her go. She's exhausted. She's not going to be able to partake in any of the July 4th activities. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. It's kind of expected. Take me to your river. So I had Ren buy some fireworks that we can light. It's almost dark, so hopefully a fire doesn't start. Who's this? Colin Bellucci. Why are there so many random people coming onto our lot all the time? So strange. Also, that's not the front door, my guy. Yay! <laughs> How fun! Whoa. Beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty out right now. Oh my god. Look at that. The sky is red and blue and just so pretty. Jeez. Love it. Sarah's feeling so stoked about the baby. I love that for her. Oh God! <laughs> what is happening, dude? Did that firework explode on Eloise? She pissed herself. What the firework over from faulty firework? Utterly enamored. Good grief. It blew up her Edison and Ren. Holy crap. 
<sighs> All right, we got one more to light. Let's light this thing and then have a bonfire. Tell a group story. Ghost story? No, an adventure story. Oh my God, not the fire, dude. Are you kidding me? Bro, get it together. Whoa, what is that that she's extinguishing herself with? What a disaster this July 4th has been. <laughs> no more fireworks. Mm -mm. Everyone is just singed and charred. I guess it makes sense for July 4th, doesn't it? This actually cracks me up. <laughs> Everyone's just singed. Oh my goodness. Well, it's almost time to age up the baby. Oh, Eloise took a shower. Good for you, girl. You like stories? All right. How's the baby doing? Oh, Him's hungry and Sarah's browsing the web. It's Eris' birthday. Time just flies by. Oh, it absolutely does. I wasn't counting down the minutes or anything. All right. Well, to uh, end this episode, let's go ahead and age, age him up. July 4th was awesome. July 4th really wasn't up to Eloise's expectations. July 4th was pretty good. I'm so excited to see Eros' infant stage. Oh no. Hoomst. Hoomst died. The Hinton. I don't know who that is. Okay, fingers crossed for calm. No, Wiggly? Okay, I'm sure. Not good or bad. Oh, how pretty. Do you want to put it in the kitchen? Sure. Thank you so much. Of course. All right. Let's hop into Cass and have a look at you, my boy. Okay. I still don't have... Well, these eyelashes kind of work. Okay, cool. Brows. Can you imagine seeing an infant with brows like this? That would trip me out so bad. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. He is so freaking cute. Uh... Um, well, I mean, you're like freshly aged up. Should we just keep you in a onesie or in some overalls? I don't know. I don't really have that much CC, do I? Uh, infant CC. Maybe this little outfit from Growing Together? I like it in brown. It's pretty cute. Aww. What a sweetie pie. All right, let's do that for hot weather. Should we give him flip-flops for hot weather? You guys know how I feel about flip-flops, but... <laughs> the stars and... Oh my god, the strawberries, whales, bunnies... I think I like the star and the moon. With blue pants... Um... Yep, roll on over. Blue pants and blue shoes and some socks. Aww! That's actually really adorable. And then since it's cold weather, we'll give him a little hat as well. Let's see. Okay, cute. I love it. <laughs> Wait, what color does this one come in? I like the yellow. Aww. All right. Well, there's Eros. I hope that you guys love him as much as I do. So excited to see how he's going to grow up, what traits he's going to get. So in the next one, we are going to... I have a feeling things are going to get a lot more busy around here. Um, we're gonna be <laughs> raising this baby, which takes so much time and so much effort out of everyone in the house. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll just be focusing on him, trying to max Sarah's career. I'm just relieved that our first baby was a boy. <laughs> I don't have to worry about having the heir anymore. That's done. I can't believe we're already on Gen 8. I can't believe it. After Eros, there's only two more gens. Are you kidding me right now? That actually blows my mind. I think before the next episode, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go through the points and see what we're missing. I know that the aspirations and the collections were the things that I was most concerned about, but we've made like a good, we've made a good dent on them this past gen, especially the collections. And with Sarah, we've done like six different aspirations, so. Yeah, I'll let you guys know about the points in the next episode. Leave me comments. Let me know what you think about Eros. Let me know what you think about everything. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you guys have a great week this week. As always, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.